Hi everybody, welcome back. So it's been a minute since I've been here. That's because a couple things happened and I wanna go through it all with you guys and tell you everything that's going on um, just to keep you guys up to date. If you caught up on my last video, then you know I was planning to move down here and now I have, I've moved down here. I'm living with my aunt and uncle for the Disney College program and am super excited to start that. This is not my usual room. I'm actually down here in Florida. I definitely want to give you guys kind of a recap of what's been going on. It's definitely been a crazy past couple of weeks. I'm gonna show you guys a couple of clips later on, but before I do that, I do want to kind of give you guys an overview of what's going on, um, where I've been and all of that, because I did start filming my moving process but I didn't get that many clips and I'll go over why soon. But okay, let's just start at the very beginning. So a week before I was supposed to move down here to Florida, I had a Maroon 5 concert. It was super fun. It was an outdoor concert and it was, I really, I had so much fun. I was not expecting to have that much fun. I love their music and I just had a really great time. I had maybe too much of a good time, but basically the next day, Tuesday, I was at my aunt's house, a different aunt. I stayed at her house for um, overnight because we got back late from the concert. So I visited with them for a little bit, came back home, and so then Wednesday I was basically just packing up anything that I could and kind of getting things in order. And then on Thursday, went to the grocery store, picked up some snacks for the drive down to get all of that ready. Friday was, I think I've mentioned it before, maybe I haven't, I can't remember, but I stood up in one of my friend's weddings and um, it was super, super fun. I had a really great time, but Friday was the rehearsal dinner and we got our nails done, then we went and decorated the place that they were gonna be and then we had the rehearsal dinner, which was really nice too, kind of to get to know. I've never stood up in a wedding, so like that was totally different for me um, to kind of see the behind the scenes of it all. So um, we got all of that figured out. But before I move on to Saturday, I need to tell you guys on Friday, I happened to be scrolling through, um, I joined some of the Disney College program Facebook pages. And if you guys haven't already, I would definitely join some of them because it's just like a nice to know kind of what's going on um, if you are applying or if you have applied um, kind of to know what's going on or if you have any questions if you're already in the program personally that's like where I get a lot of my questions answered so I would definitely recommend joining some of those Facebook pages you just type in Disney College program like uh, fall or fall advantage spring spring advantage um, 2021 2022 whatever it'll be for you uh, and then you go from there there's loads of them, um, but uh, I happened to see somebody post that they were like, like later September acceptance, and they're like, yeah, I got you know uh, my onboarding paperwork. Like they had a question about it, and I was like, that's weird. I haven't gotten my onboarding paperwork. I went like spastically through all of my emails. I had gotten the email from Disney like over a week before that. Uh, for my onboarding and I didn't know it because I had originally signed up for the Disney job alerts so I had all of these emails from Disney and usually when I see that it says Disney like once I got accepted once I saw that it said like Disney I kind of like didn't mean to but I would just kind of like forget about it that's so bad but like I would uh, and I was like this is so weird I should have had that well yeah I finally went back through all my emails and there it was. I had ignored it that day, but I think that day my car was getting fixed, so it was like a really big day. I will definitely tell you guys about my role in my location, but that'll be in the next video, which I hope to have out very soon. So, anyway, that was all of the onboarding stuff. And Saturday I had the wedding. I drove down with my aunt. I think I even explained that in the clips that I have, so I won't go into too much detail, but basically, why don't I just play the clips? I'll play the clips so you guys can know what's going on. So, let me... That was kind of like the background the week before I was going to leave. So I caught you up to Sunday, right? So the clips you'll see is like Monday, what it was like on Monday. Don't mind the geese in the background, but this is the situation we have. I've got clothes in here, clothes in there, random stuff in here, right? Okay. 
And then on this side, I've got one more duffel that didn't really fit. My pillow, sweatshirt, an overnight bag for the hotel. Then a little thing there. And if we go around on this side, I've got a cooler for food, cold food, snacks in there, and then drinks under there. I was being attacked by bugs outside, and I think I even got stung, to be honest. Hi, hello, if you're new here, my name is Alex, and I'm currently getting ready to leave for the DCP. I'm in my car, and it's very, very warm outside right now, but I know it'll be even hotter in Florida. The game plan for today, because I know I just will forget or I won't have time when it happens. But the game plan for today is my best friend and me are going to drive in my car and my mom's going to drive in her car um, just so that they can say goodbye to me uh, when I get to the airport to meet with my other aunt who is going to drive down with me. Um, I'm very lucky to have uh, family and friends that care so much and that are willing to spend the very last minute with me before I leave. So I'm really happy about that. I am still recovering. Uh, Saturday was a really big day. It, it was a big day. Yeah, I'm super excited and I'm getting really warm here sitting in my car and I'm just, I'm trying really hard to stay excited. I'm really nervous. I had to say goodbye to my dad and my sister this morning. So that was a little sad, um, but I do get to see them in December. Like, that's as soon as I think I'll see them, but maybe I'll see them even sooner if I can come home, like, on a weekend or something. But I will keep you guys updated within this whole traveling thing and um, when I get down there. I am leaving a little bit early, uh, earlier than most people might, but it's okay. I'm really happy about it because it'll give me time to settle in and kind of get back into the swing of things. So I'm excited about that, and because of time, I'm going to let you guys go, and I'll check back in again soon. Okay, so it's been a couple days. I obviously don't sound very good, but I'm okay. <laughs> I um, went and got a COVID test today just in case. I really think it's just a cold, but you can never be too sure. So I'm chilling in my room for the next couple days until I get my test results back and um, going from there. I thought I would share more things. Obviously I wanted to record more on the trip, but because I ended up getting sick and we drove through Hurricane Ida, it just didn't really happen um, as much as I wanted, so I'm just gonna take it easy for a little bit. I honestly sound worse than I feel. I'll let you guys know how things go. Okay, so in those clips you saw that I was starting to drive down. We stopped at a hotel and that night I woke up and my throat hurt. So my instant thought was, oh my God, I have COVID. So then I was freaking out, but I didn't have all of the same symptoms as COVID, like because my ears hurt, I didn't have a cough and I didn't have a fever, but basically my ears hurt and my throat hurt. So like I've grown up having really bad ear infections like all the time, so I was kind of used to it. So I was like, oh no, it's probably like an ear infection. But just with like the state of the world right now, like my instant thought was like, oh my god, I have COVID. So um, we drove all the way down and wore my mask everywhere. Uh, we also had to drive through Hurricane Ida. Um, we obviously didn't get hit by that much of her, but still parts of the drive were a little bit sketchy just with how much it was raining. I'm very thankful that we were okay and that we didn't get into like the worst of it. Finally we made it to Florida. So as soon as I could I went and got a COVID test and uh, I got a PCR test. I decided to go to the urgent care that's near where I'm living right now. I like quarantined in this room like self-isolated and tried to stay away from the rest of the family as much as I could until I you know was to get those results back. So then so I got tested and then that night of the COVID of the COVID test my ear, I think I went to like itch my ear or something and all of a sudden I went like this and then like my ear popped and there was like this giant amount of pain in my ear and I was like, oh no. So I thought I like burst my eardrum or something like that, you know, because Web WebMD told me that's what happened. <laughs> I decided, I was like, I really want somebody to look at it. I could do a virtual visit, but I really want somebody to look at it. I decided to go back to urgent care and <laughs> I was like, yeah, I'm sorry I'm here again. and. 
um, while I was there, I ended up waiting like another two hours just to be able to see somebody. Um, again, they were all super nice. It was the same people, so it was like nice that like I recognized a couple of a couple of like the same faces. There was one nurse in particular. I was like, yeah, I don't know if you remember me. And she's like, oh, I do. She's like, you just can't get your break. She's like, we're gonna take good care of you. And like for her to say that meant so much to me. And I'm so thankful that they were so nice and so helpful. Um, but yeah, I got to see somebody and they told me basically what was going on. The doctor there even told me, she's like, you don't even have the same exact symptoms as COVID. You know, like I didn't have the fever, I didn't have the cough. I just basically had a lot of congestion. My throat didn't hurt anymore. Um, but she said basically what was happening was all the congestion that I had was pushing on my ear and causing it to have an ear infection. So, um, which has definitely happened to me more than once. So, um, and now I have no spray and eardrops. So that's where I'm at right now. But uh, I did get my COVID test back and it was negative, thank God. <laughs> um, and I'm just thankful that all of this is happening right now rather than when I'm supposed to start at Disney. And don't worry, um, when I'm supposed to start at Disney, it will have been like more than ample time of having like self-isolation or quarantining. Um, you know, I've been doing my best to just stay away from people and stay here. Um, other than having to go pick up my prescription and go to urgent care. I'm okay and I'm glad, like I said, everything's happening right now rather than the first week because I would have no idea what to do. Okay, yeah, I wrote a bunch of notes down and now you guys are all caught up on where I'm at. But stay tuned for the next video because I will be talking all about my location and my role reveal and I'm super excited to share that with you guys and um, to go from there. But yeah, hopefully... I know this video is kind of all over the place, but um, that's kind of how it's been for me the past little bit here. Uh, and I wanted to share that with you guys um, to let you know exactly what is going on. Because I know if this were to happen to me in the future, uh, I would be looking for somebody to help me understand what to do and where to go from there. I will be sharing so much more Disney College program content with you guys and I'm so so excited. I think it'll be really fun. I cannot wait to start. Go ahead hit that subscribe button if you're new here. Hit that like button if you want to see more videos just like this and I will talk to you guys very soon. Bye!